Welcome back to Go. I'm here with Stan, the musical man. Now, Stan, I was attracted to your booth because it's one of the more interesting booths. Tell me about these musical instruments. Uh, we've been making musical instruments for the last 28, 30 years. We concentrate now on uh, easy play musical instruments. Mm -hmm. uh, they range from very easy to play to the harp, which is, of course, very uh, more difficult. So. Um, it's nice to do the shows here so we meet local people and, uh, and put the instruments in their hands so they can play them, you know. And they're all handcrafted? All handmade by me and my wife. We use all solid woods. Uh, we use as much local woods as we can, like maple, walnut from the Fraser Valley, interior spruce is what we use for our soundboards, and uh, lots of, uh, lots of local, local woods as much as we can. Now these are non-traditional instruments. Tell us a little bit about each of these. Uh, well, mo uh, most of the instruments are on the folk folky vein. The hammer dulcimer uh, originated in Europe and many other countries, but when it came to North America, it came out and, as a hammer dulcimer in the shape and form. Uh, we got the pattern for the, for the drums here from uh, the Aztec Indians, used to ho hollow them out of, out of logs and sit on the hillside and play them. So we kind of put our stamp on them and made them look like little fish swimming upstream and uh, put our own little stamp on them. The uh, African thumb pianos, or the kalimba, it's, it's uh, originally from Africa. But same thing, we make it with our local woods and uh, make it for children's size and ad an adult size. Uh, the stringed instruments, very popular is the Celtic instruments, is the, uh, the Irish bazooki, the Celtic mandolin. And then um, ukuleles are very, very popular right now. Fairly easy to play, so we, we make quite a lot of uh, ukuleles. You also have harps. Tell us a little bit harps. about that. Well, the harps, are, um, um, harps come in all different sizes, right from the, the largest one is, of yeah, course, the, the concert harp. Times, and, um, and then harp from there on, they're all different sizes. They usually go in octaves, and I make three, a four octave harp, five octave harp, and then a small three octave harp, which we call a lap harp, it sits on your knee and you play it on your knee. Um, big harp craze 15 years ago, still popular. Um, lots of uh, touring uh, girls or, or men who play the harp, you know. Beautiful instrument, sounds great with flutes, uh, cellos. It's, it's a real uh, uh, instrument that can, can work with other instruments, you know. Now you can also play each of these instruments. What's your favorite instrument? My favorite, uh, my favorite is, the, uh, is this one that I, I developed. It's a, it's, a, it's a dulcimer, an Appalachian dulcimer, mountain dulcimer. It's got the dulcimer fingerboard which makes it easy to play. Um, the, the reason is we say there's no wrong notes because they're not there. The frets are missing. So if I go down this string, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. So you've got a major, uh, major scale. The drones will go with most of, the, most of the melody notes. So it all combines to a very, very easy to play instrument.